In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert an object into a photo. This object could be a person, it could be an object, or it could be um, anything really. So let's start off by opening up a new page. I'm going to click and drag this right here. So there we go. File, open. And I'm going to open Desert Sky, which is this. It's our picture and we are going to look for another picture which I've carefully prepared for you. It's called Extracted Tree. Now this tree was extracted from a background leaving us with just this. I'm going to minimize, click and drag, sorry not that one. Sorry about that, wrong layer that's the right layer to click and drag so here we are and I'm going to maximize so these are our trees and we want to add them into this picture the first thing I'm going to do is control T to enlarge them click and drag make them say um, this big maybe a little bigger click I'm clicking on my keyboard I'm clicking the shift key down and I'm dragging to keep this proportion as I resize it I'm going to click on the move tool apply and here are my trees what I would ideally like to do is take these trees and put them in the back of these hills and to do that I'm going to turn the tree layers off first of all let me double click and name the tree layers trees so here we are on this layer what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, the magic wand I'm going to set the tolerance for 45 and I'm just going to click away in here and select. Now I've selected this portion. In order for me to continue selecting, I'm going to have to hold the shift key down on the keyboard and just click away. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're making progress over here. That's cool. Alright, so all this is good. I love the way this cropped it out. This is beautiful. It's exactly what I was looking for. But at this point, we're not yet done. This is not even the portion that we need extracted from the picture. It is this bottom portion that we need. So in order for us to achieve that, I'm going to right click, select inverse, and now the bottom portion is chosen. That's exactly what I want. From this layer, I'm going to hit control J on the keyboard and automatically a new layer has been created a new layer that has only the contents of the marching ants which means the hills right here with these rocks so if I turn off the main layer you notice we have just the rocks that's beautiful now let's add in our pictures our trees I'm gonna click on the trees and here are the trees so in order to move this tree the next thing we have to do is first of all we're going to click our tree layer, take our move tool and move the trees around as we see here. But the reason the trees are not behind the hills is because of the layer of position. So I'm going to click on the trees layer and drag it down under this layer. And automatically the trees are being put behind the rocks just as they are here. But the problem we're encountering is on the side right here. We see the falling hills, the green hills right there. And we have to get rid of that, which is pretty easy. I'm going to take the eraser tool is set for 125 it has somewhat of a feather on it so everything blends out as I erase it so that's easily done and let's go around the tree and get rid of this blue haze that's there as well and now everything is pretty clean and let's add the rest of the hills back in by click and sew and now we have the tree in the back of the rocks and the very next thing to do is to get this tree to match the color calibration of these rocks and ambient coloring and to do so what I will do next is I'm going to stay on the tree layer go to image apply image and in this dialog box I'm being asked as to what to apply or use as a color, cali color calibration to pretty much blend this tree in. I have the option to click on the downward arrow key and I have layer one trees and background. 
if you pay close attention to what we did earlier right over here in this section we have the layer one trees and background so really I want our trees to blend into the black the background so I want to click and drag back over here click on the drop down arrow key choose background and if you look at the trees ah beautiful the trees have absolutely been blended into this background and it all looks just flawless and that in a nutshell is how you can insert an image into another image in Photoshop